is nothing nicer than fresh bread warm from the oven and I'm going to be using an interesting method to make some spinach cheese on walnut bread. Now I've got some strong bread flour in a large bowl and I'm going to add some coarsely grated cheddar and some roughly chopped walnuts, some table salt and some dried yeast. Now I'm just going to mix that up a little bit and make a well in the centre got some lukewarm water and I'm going to whisk in some olive oil. And then pour that into the well, mixing as you go. Bring it together to make a slightly sticky dough. Once the mixture is roughly combined, just get the spoon out and use your hand. Keep turning the dough, bringing it together until all of those ingredients are worked in. So once the ball has formed, press the dough down into the bottom of the bowl and it does feel quite sticky. And then with your hand, fold over one edge, turn the bowl and fold another edge over. You need to do this 10 times. After 10 folds, you need to rest the dough for 10 minutes. I'm just gonna wash my hands. Now, while that's resting, let's cook the spinach. I've got a large frying pan here. I'm gonna add some oil couple of tablespoons. I've got a bowl of spinach here. It just needs to go into the pan. I'm cooking it over a high heat just for a couple of minutes until the leaves wilt. So the spinach is wilted. Let's turn off the heat and season it with some pepper, a little sprinkle and some freshly grated nutmeg. And give that a stir around and then set aside to cool. Now going back to the dough, I'm going to give it another 10 turns and then rest it again for another 10 minutes. You need to do this again. Fold the dough another 10 times so you're doing it 40 times in total. And now it's ready to turn out. I need to shape this into a rectangle. So a little bit of flour onto the pin. So that's roughly the right size. So going back to that spinach that I softened earlier, I'm just going to scatter it across the dough. And then with the long side facing you, you just need to roll the dough away from you. And we should get 16 rounds from this log here. So that's 16 rolls all together. I'll spring this up and I'm going to arrange it starting in the centre with quite a large one and then working round. Last one. Now I'll just pop that there and then I'm just going to oil a piece of cling film and lay that on top of the bread. Like that. And just cover it with a tea towel and leave it to rise for about 45 minutes to an hour and then we're ready to bake. The dough's had its time proving now. And if we just take a look, you can see that it's risen and expanded to fill all of those gaps and form one large loaf. But even once it's baked, you'll still be able to separate the individual rolls. So it's fantastic for tearing and sharing. It just needs to go into the oven now until it's cooked through. So there we have it. Delicious spinach, cheese and walnut bread ready to serve. <laughs>